to welcome back mga kadii again we are here for another differential equation video tutorial this time we will solve problem involving homogeneous differential equation for our first example we need to find the complete solution of 3x plus 2y dx plus 2x dy is equivalent to zero but first we need to check if our equation is with homogeneous coefficient o homogeneous ba siya? So, kung mapasin natin, exponent nito is 1, exponent nito is 1 din, then the exponent of this term is 1 also. So, our equation is homogeneous of degree 1. Therefore, we can use the solution for homogeneous differential equation. So, anong gagamitin naman natin? Ano ang papalitan natin? Yung y o yung x? Kung mapasin natin, mas madaling palta natin is yung y na lang. ba? Kasi kung papalta natin yung dx, magkakamayroon tayo ng binomial times binomial. ba? Dito kasi monomial times binomial lang tayo. Although pwede namang natin paltan din si dx, sabi nga natin, hanap na lang tayo kung saan mas madaling process. So, papalta natin is y is equivalent to bx. So, let y is equivalent to bx. Therefore, yung ating derivative ng y is equivalent to bdx plus xdb. So, lahat ng y, papalta natin ng bx. So, copy lang yung 3x plus y, that's 2bx dx plus 2x dy is bdx plus xdb is equivalent to Zero. So, bago natin pagsamasamayin yung similar terms, mas madaling tanggalin muna natin kung meron pang matatanggal, which is, pwede kasi natin factor dito yung x. If we factor x, we have 3 plus 2b dx plus 2x b dx plus x db is equivalent to 0. So, mapasin natin yung first term natin merong x, yung second term natin merong x so pwede natin cancel out na yan or ang nangyari dyan is we multiply 1 over x so natira na lang is 3 plus 2b dx so yung 2 iti-distribute na natin, so we have 2b dx plus 2x db is equivalent to 0 then, next natin gagawin, i-combine na natin similar term. So, may dx tayo dito, may dx din tayo dito. So, pagsamasamahin natin sila. So, 3 plus 2b, may 2b ka rin dito. So, we have 4b dx plus 2x db is equivalent to 0. So, kung i-observe natin yung equation, parang pwede natin gamitan ng isa pang method in solving equation of order 1. Which is usually, yan yung nagiging process natin kung yan ay homogeneous differential equation. Magkakameron tayo ng variable separable. So, paano na yung variable separable? Pagsamahin yung x, pagsamahin yung b. So, we need to divide yung hindi natin kailangan dito, which is 3 plus 4b. And since nag-divide tayo ng first term and 3 plus 4b, we need to divide 3 plus 4b also in our second term as well as in our last term. So, mapansin natin, yung 3 plus 4b dito is makakancel out na. Okay na yan. Kaya lang, yung second term natin is merong x. So, kailangan makancel din yung x. So, divide by x yung lahat ng term. So, cancel out x. So, matitira na lang. So, ating first term is dx over x plus integral naman tayo dito na 2db all over 3 plus 4b is equivalent to 0. So, integral lang natin yan kasi magkakasama na yung mga ped, magkakasamang variable. So, next natin is to integrate. So, isa pang checking natin sa homogeneous common process natin is laging may natitira tayong either dx over x or yung dy over y. Yun yung checking din natin. Kung sakaling walang nangyaring ganun, so, check natin ulit yung ating mga previous na ginawang process. So, integral of dx over x 
Anong sagot natin dyan? That is ln x plus so we have 2db all over 3 plus 4b. So anong gagawin natin dyan? So ang derivative ng ating denominator is i 4b or 4db. Kaya lang sa taas meron na tayong 2db. Kung 4db ang derivative ng ating denominator, we need to multiply 2. Since nag-multiply tayo ng 2 again, in natin yung equation, we need to multiply 1 half. Parang walang nangyari. So, what that is equivalent to 1 half ln o ln 3 plus 4b is equivalent to, since may 1 half na tayo dito, ilagay na lang natin it is 1 half ln c. Then, we multiply all terms by 2. So, we have ln x squared plus ln 3 plus 4b is equivalent to ln c. So, since may plus tayo dito, properties of logarithm, wherein kung may plus yan, magiging multiplication yung ating function sa loob. So, x squared times 3 plus 4b is equivalent to ln c. So, para mawala yung ln natin, so, erase natin yung exponential pareho. So, it will cancel out. So, we have x squared times 3 plus 4b is equivalent to c. So, hindi pati yung final answer natin. Since yung ating final answer is naka x at saka b, which is tapat is naka x and y. So, ano ba yung kanyang equation natin? Sabi natin, y is equivalent to bx. Therefore, kung kukunin natin yung value ng b dito, ang b natin is equivalent to y over x. So, yun yung isasubstitute natin doon sa ating naging solution na kaulihan. So, we have x squared times 3 plus 4 y over x is equivalent to c. Pag sinimplify natin yan, that is equivalent, equivalent lang tayo ng x squared times 3x plus 4y is equivalent to c. Then meron tayo ditong x. x squared divided by x is simply x times 3x plus 4y is equivalent to c or simplified pa natin simplify pa natin that's 3x squared plus 4xy is equivalent to c. So so, ito yung method na medyo mahaba yung solution. Pero, may pattern naman siyang sinusundan. Since papal so, kung titignan natin, ang process niya is, papaltan mo lang yung ating either dx or yung dy, o yung ating mga variable y, o yung ating variable x, then, magkakameron tayo ng, ito, yung ating isang checking din, dx over x, or kung dy, kung x ang pinalit mo, tapos may dy over y ka, then, isa pang checking natin dyan, is tapat, yung final answer natin is hindi naka in terms of B o yung pinalit natin. Tapat is naka in terms of kung ano yung nasa given natin. So, for our solution, in number 1, that is equivalent to 3x squared plus 4xy equals to C. So, see you sa next video natin. Thank you.